Hello everyone, and welcome to this video on planar failure analyses, sometimes referred to as Kullman's method. Furthermore, when doing these analyses, the assumption is always that there is ductal or fully plastic shear failure, not strain softening. You can see what ductal and brittle failures look like on the bottom graph. Using Kullman's method, we will find the slope's factor of safety, which can be defined as the factor by which shear strength must be divided to render the slope barely stable or be in equilibrium. Then, we can draw the free body diagram, assuming phi is zero, and define the slope strength. Using basic trigonometry, we can reform the FS equation as shown here, to make things easier. In these calculations, T is the shear force, C is the soil's cohesion, and gamma is the unit weight. So, substituting, the strength over stress equation can be reformed. This way, we will get the equation at the bottom of the slide. Examining the equation we just got, when beta is equal to zero or alpha, the factor of safety is infinite. Which makes sense. It also makes sense that the minimum factor of safety is when the denominator sine beta times sine alpha minus beta is max. Taking the derivative, we can calculate that minimum happens when beta equals alpha over 2, and the equation becomes the one at the bottom of the slide. Note that the planar failure becomes less likely, has higher fs, when the slopes are flatter, so in general the calculation is valid for slopes with angles alpha greater than 53 degrees. This is a very simple expression to remember, and basically what you need to take home with you from this video. So, this was planar failure analysis using Kullman's method. We hope you found this video useful. If you liked it, visit geoengineer.org and discover much more educational content on geotechnical engineering. Until the next video, thanks for watching.